Okay, so I got gluten-free donuts here. This is my first time trying like the double chocolate ones and they're actually like pretty good. I don't know. I like these ones. Well, I don't know if I like them yet. I haven't had them yet. I had the, I had the vanilla ones, and they were really good. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, yo. What is up, guys? I am finally back with yet another video, and this one, it's going to be about how much I need a PlayStation 5. But first, my last story time video was about make uh, my favorite summer movie. So if you guys haven't seen that one, click the link in the description below and check it out. Now let's talk about this PS5. Unfortunately, there was no Sly Cooper game announced and I was really hoping for that, that they would announce a new one. They already dropped a Ratchet and Clank game and I really, really want to play that. That looks really exciting. So I, I love the Ratchet and Clank games. I've been with the series for a very, very long time. I've played like I'm pretty sure I played every single game in the series, actually. So they're actually, like, really sick. And so let's get into, like, the games that I saw that I was really excited for. First off, obviously, God of War. Let's talk about it. I, I don't... Okay, so obviously, we're going to start with, like, a bit of a negative thing. I wish they would have, like, let you, like, discover Tyr on your own and let that be, like, the mystery. Is like, oh, do you find Tyr? Or, like, what happens? And it's obviously going to be taking place with Ragnarok. I don't have my Norse mythology book on me right now. As you know, like, I'm actually, like, a huge fan of, like, Vikings and stuff. I'm Norwegian. Well, core Norwegian, but whatever. I, I love, I, I love that whole aspect of everything, and I think it's really cool. So, I'm really stoked about that, and, like, seeing where they take the series. And, yeah, I'll have to read more of my Norse mythology book <laughs> to see, like, where the, to understand, like, more of the story and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, but I, uh, Atreus is a little bit older in it, and so he's, like, in pu past puberty or whatever now, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I wonder if he's gonna, like, where they're gonna do, what, what they're gonna do with that. So, there is still a whole thing with, like, the time traveling and stuff, and, or just Kratos die, and we'll just have to see. I'm actually, like, really interested in this one. Uh, next up, let's talk about Spider-Man 2. So, they're making a sequel to the Spider-Man PS4 game that was released back in 2018, I want to say. I was a big fan of that game. I love that game. I'm actually going to play, play it again and talk about it on this channel at some point here down the road. After I beat Rage 2, I'll definitely be doing that. Uh, yeah, so the game, the gameplay looks really good. Miles Morales is going to be in it, and apparently Venom is going to be in the main villain. And that's really cool, because you, you just got so many awesome characters in the Spider-Man universe that you could just use them all, so... Yeah, I wonder how they're gonna, is, is New York just gonna be kind of the same? Are they what, what are they gonna do with that? Is it just gonna be like the same whole play escape? I actually didn't really look too much into it, so but that I will for sure be picking up. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. I'm actually gonna be planning to make more like comic book videos on this channel, but I haven't just gotten to that yet. So I'm working on it. I'm already talked about Berserk and stuff. Anyways, so we'll move on from that in Spider-Man. Keeping with the whole. Uh, Marvel theme, we'll talk about Wolverine, and I was literally just thinking about how they need to make a new X-Men game or something like that, because I'm like, it's been so long since like, there's been any X-Men game and X-Men used to be like the franchise before the Avengers for Marvel but obvious for obvious reasons, Avengers took over again, but X-Men were like the franchise in the 90s so I'm really stoked to see what they do with that and what they do with the Wolverine game, because it's apparently being made by Insomniac, so they won't be making a new Sly Cooper game. As you can tell, I really wanted a new Sly Cooper game. Uh, that looked really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, I don't really have much to say about Spider-Man 2. I don't know much about it, but if, I'm assuming it's going to be really similar to the Spider-Man PS4. I don't know. It just seems that's, that's what I think they're going to do. Anyways, so... Yeah, Wolverine, I'm really stoked about. I can't wait to see what they do with that. It seems to be a lot more comic booky than than uh, the Spider-Man games, and that's kind of what I'm hoping for, a little bit more of a comic booky style video game that we haven't gotten in a long time. Uh, next up, oh my god, I am so excited for this. They're releasing Alan Wake on PS5. I, apparently it's not like a huge game or nothing, but it looks like so much fun. I watched a whole playthrough of it when I was like a, t a teenager, I believe, of like, on EHC Film. I was a huge fan of their playthroughs back in the day. And... Yeah, that looks so cool, and I am so stoked to finally play that game. I've wanted to play it for so long. My mom, like, I remember back when I was, like, I, before, we, like, we were going to, my mom was like, oh, do you want to get an Xbox or whatever? And I was like, you, she's like, you can have one here and have one there. And I was like, uh, yeah, for sure, because I really wanted to play Alan Wake, and I was, like, so stoked about that. But, yeah, 
Alan Wake is like a game I'm so excited for, and I finally get to play the new Coder, the Coder, or like uh, Knights of the Old Republic game. I'm, I also love Star Wars, so obviously we'll be talking about that because apparently the remastering one. So I am definitely picking that up, and I'm definitely playing that. That is for sure. So I need to get my ass out there and to get a PS5 because this shit looks sick. Anyways. So that's enough talking about like all the games and stuff I saw that I'm personally excited for. Uh, no Jack and Daxter, no no uh, Crash Bandicoot, no Sly, no, no Spyro. Maybe there was Crash Bandicoot. Was there anything? I don't know. I didn't see anything, but I'll have to be sure to like go back and look. But correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So now that that's over with, uh, my next video I'm going to be talking about Chapter 364 of Berserk, and I'll be uploading that next Wednesday. So be sure to stay tuned for that because I'm actually like really stoked about making that video. And finally talking about the last chapter Kentaro Mira drew for Berserk and yeah. So guys be sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, let me know what you think of the new PlayStation games and if you're excited. So peace out, bye.